Piri Reese map. Piri Reese. If a rescue ace is summoned, the special summons makes sense. We have reinforcements of the army also. Uh. Okay. Come to me, Hydrant. Very well done. Minus 4k kick W. Let's reinforce with the lifter. Let's get lifted. Let's get lifted. Lifter is an absolute bait negate. It is fake. I do not need this activation whatsoever since we already have the field spell. So if it eats up something, then that is beautiful. Where in a previous game, this being negated really hurts. So it's like, how do you know that you should have negated it? It also chain summon the fire engine. This is where we get max seed. No max seed. Interesting. Now, the rescue alert's gonna add from graveyard to hand. This will summon it from the graveyard to the fields. I'm gonna grab the rescue. Now, the real choke point here is the hydrant. If he negates this, then we're pissed. Chill, chill, chill. Wait, I screwed up. I should have grabbed alert. So when this, if this gets negated, alert could search for the turbulence. Yup, yup. Okay. Gotta remember the hydrant gives an additional effect. This could be ashed and then we cry. Oh, we're good, we're good. But uh, now you know. Grab the turbulence. Alert with hydrant equals turbulence. Do not forget that. All right, we're gonna leave up the hydrant. I forgot to put elf in again. Uh, chat misplayed by not telling me. What the heck? So we wanted elf. Elf was ideal to make the turbulence untargetable. Yep. And then summon turbulence to where the elf is pointing to. And we're good. So we'll so pretend like it's an elf. You told me what the game started? It's okay. I have the wrong mask screen also, that's right. We'll fix that up, we'll fix it. We don't even need it. Extinguish is going to kill a monster. Turbulence is going to, uh, the contain is going to contain the monster, negating it and cannot be used for an extra deck summon. And rescue will be activatable. Uh, the alert that is, we're gonna use the alert to search our deck for an impulse. Impulse is the way. Yep, yep. Impulse actually turns off the X purely nor. You choose the X purely nor and it cannot be activated. Nuts. All right, I think we going to be making Apollo USA potentially, what do you think? We'll set the rescue. I could just leave it like this and we could chain summon into Apollo. So we'll, we'll feel it out, we'll feel it out. Let's feel it out, let's go. We'll toggle on so on the resolution we could see it is a rise heart. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Special summon unicorn, which we can contain or extinguish it. Okay. I'm gonna actually hold on to these. I'm just gonna impulse and then draw two discard for a hand trap. Pretty damn good. Let's go. So I, I don't think we, we don't wanna negate this, right? I think we're good. Come on, let me do the draw two combo. I wanna show people what to do. I could rescue it, I could rescue. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. We're gonna rescue the impulse from the call of the grave. We have another, don't be cringe. I don't want to negate because I want him to add so I could then show you the draw two into a hand trap. Hopefully not an impermanence. Draw into max C is what this does. We can make a fat Apollo USA now. All right, fingering nothing. This is it, the fire attacker. This is going to be draw two discard into hand trap. Theosis, we counter Theosis, it's nothing. Extinguish, extinguishes it. It just like that, we're gonna be activating. Also, you'll activate, I don't care. What if he makes, he takes my Apollo away from me? Should I make Apollo right now? I think so. Okay. How thick do we want Apollo? I think we wanna keep turbulence on the field though. And by containing or extinguishing it, it's not gonna destroy my Apollo. Woo hoo hoo, let's go. Nibiru and Maxi, don't mind if I do. Access, the codes are gone. Okay, he can't special summon unless he's playing that uh, level seven card that's weird. Theosis pop and then I uh, end of the main phase. Interesting. Okay. Attacking into my Apollo and I think I'm just going to extinguish you. And then I think we'll also max C. 
Yeah? Sounds good. All right, let's extinguish. There goes your battle phase. And you're going to special summon a cash tier at main phase two, which is not an activate effect from the hand. Seems good. We can negate a monster, and we have uh, lots of negates. We got quadra negate. We got follow up. The field spell is going to shuffle our rescue ace cards back in the deck, then reset them with turbulence. Kind of nutty. Hmm. I think I just contain it. I think containing is a good idea. Oh. <laughs> Contain, negate, can't be used for exceed, Nate. Next turn, shuffle back on the deck, reset. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Rescue ace, extinguishing the cash tier of fools. Get a lift. Now, this is where we search for emergency when the new support comes out, and then we win the whole duel. But we don't have it. Impulse of the activated monster effects in the field could summon from the deck. This is okay. This is okay. Okay. He does not get a draw for this. 2,500 D, pretty large. Nice. Okay. Lift me up into the field spell. Field spell, additional summon the hydrant. We got turbulence. He's gonna draw two. That's gonna be something. That's gonna be something. Draw two, draw two. Hydrant is untargetable here. And not target. Oh, come on, don't ash. Turbulence. So we're just going to Mascarina. Mascarina, you do get your draw, then we're gonna Turbulence, and then we're gonna win, maybe. Turbulence. I could uh, make an Elf right here if I wanted, actually. We gotta put Elf on the stack. Elf needs to be in the stack. What are we doing? Where's Elf? I need Elf. All right, we're good. Extinguish destroys the monster. Contain will contain the monster, negating it, and it cannot be used for an extra deck summon. And then we have the alert. Alert is activatable right now. We're gonna shuffle up the back row and we can get alert and to add a card from our deck to our hand. That card is going to be Preventer if the new support were out, but it's not. Yeah, that was gonna elf with IP Mascarina. That was, that was the play. Okay. I, I don't care. I, I, this is, I didn't have anything good to search anyway. Okay. Leave the field by an opponent's card. Now it's interesting here is if I extinguish this, it states that your opponent cannot activate the effects of that destroyed monster, but I'm just gonna contain it. So they have a body on the field. Yeah, that's fine. Contain, contain. The Osis, we're actually going to extinguish now. I'm going to extinguish you. Extinguish the fool. And if you summon another unicorn, it could not be used. It, you can't activate it. Got him. Because the hydrant gives that additional ability. The destroyed monster could not act, you can't activate with the same name. So if you birth it back in the fields, no good, no good. Got him, got him, got him. It looks like he's gonna birth it. Should I rescue it from his graveyard when he activates birth? That would be hilarious. I should do that. I really should. Do it. <laughs> yes. Rescue. Rescue the unicorn to my side of the fields. You fool. Huh? Oh no, sure, draw one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I guess you'll draw if I Mascarina now. That's annoying. Get your additional summon, then I could contain it. We're gonna put the unicorn in attack position because we are alpha, let's go. Come to us. Get your normal summon or special summon. It's crazy that he could still special cash Tira and then normal summon another one. Scareclaw cash Tira. Okay, banish the Osis, add back nothing. I, if we have time, we do have plans to do banner pay today. Yes, we do. Okay, what do I banish from his extra deck? What do we want to be taken? Nah, we're fine. Let's take out Zeus. Zeus, be gone. I could unicorn him. Hey, that's the thing. That's the card. That's the thing. I could contain or unicorn. What do you think? 
If I contain, the Scareclaw cannot attack, its effects are negated, and it cannot be used for fusion, cannot be used for synchro, cannot be used to link summon. That just sounds like it makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. You have been contained. <laughs> That's it. Can't make Baron to floor. And uh, you already used up your normal summon. You already activated your birth. <laughs> yes! Konami was right! We used Turbulence to extinguish the Arise Heart! You fool! Yes! Now, Piri Reese map is similar to Pata E. You have to use the map right away. Gotta get map right away, right away. Oh, I could grab Ash Blossom also, but doesn't it negate Ash Blossom if I don't summon it? The effects are not negated, yeah. Okay, get lifted. This is like a really bad choke point for us because the deck's not that good. Oh my gosh, we got clapped. That's it. I needed Field Spell to additional summon the Hydrant, then Link Off, then Make Turbulence, then Wham Bam, Thinking Man Lethal. But we have Ash. Now, Rescue is a quick effect. I could quickly reborn a monster from the graveyard if we want to cope. Okay. Do I set the rescue as a bluff? Uh, it is an impermanence. It's an imperm, it's an imperm. Okay. Okay. One ash. Impulse, as I said, could draw us into more hand traps. It's a draw to discard. It doesn't say that on the card, but you just have to believe me that it draws two and discards. Okay, sure, sure, sure. The Hydrant could be Ash, but it cannot be Impermed. So let's see what happens. Hydrant. Okay, uh, the field did not light up. We ain't lighting up. I can now summon from their graveyard. We're gonna grab our Turbulence. What is he coping in the back row? It's like uh, Theosis or something? What's going on? Theosis, Theosis. Theosis? What do you have? What do you have? You weren't activating on my summon, so... Wow. You almost banged me. So we could rescue, go into Unicorn, and then spin the other card back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rescue, but then we have to... Turbulence will set three. This is fine. Okay. We're good, we're good. The Air Lifter is going to activate on Special Summon, grabbing the Field Spell. I think that's going to be the ideal. Do I have three cards in the grave? Oh my god, called by, and we played right into the birth. I completely screwed this up, actually. I misplayed so badly. The freaking birth kills our deck. I forgot about that piece of shite. Don't activate. I perfectly have three. I have four. Wait, he didn't activate. Oh, uh, if you... You have to control a your monster. Oh, thank Jesus. Thank the Lord. That is great. Okay. Hydrant we could leave on the field. We need field spell to rescue the rescue back into the deck. We could leave Hydrant in the graveyard if we want to potentially be reborning it in some way. So we're good. Let's go. Let's do it. Turbulence. Turb it up. Turb it up. Pop a card. Negate a card. And... Yeah, he's bricked up. He's bricked. And we got the alert. Got him. Got him. Rescue Copium. This deck is known for being top tier, tier one in the OCG. It's one of the best decks, and I think it's about to become the best deck in the TCG. Well, that's after a second wave of support and even a third wave of support. Two different core box sets give incredible support for this deck, and we're on the first wave, which means the deck's not top tier, not even close to it, but I'm still trying out the deck. I'm still having a lot of fun with it. The deck becomes top tier because it makes it more consistent to summon your turbulence. So if you get the turbulence out and you resolve its effect, you're pretty much a top tier deck. The problem is getting that to happen. It can be difficult. It, it activates, it will then set from the deck and extinguish to pop a monster. And then that monster cannot activate its effects with the same name. So if they have multiple copies, not activatable. You have Contain, which could negate a monster. And the additional effects are only if you have a Hydrant, by the way. So the additional effect of the Contain will be the monster you negate that also cannot attack, additionally cannot be used for an extra deck monster summon. You will then also be setting up Alert. 
Alert could search your deck or your graveyard for a monster to add to the hand. You also have Rescue. If you have Hydrant, you could rescue a monster out of the opponent's graveyard onto your side of the field, even in attack position, then attack with it, and it's not negated. Or you could rescue a monster from your own graveyard back onto the field and possibly trigger their effects. Hydrant's going to be the core card of this deck that makes the deck consistent. While it's on the field with another Rescue Ace, it cannot be targeted for card effects. So if you activate and they activate in perm, prepare to laugh at them because they tried to negate it and they can't. Now, the other effect is it cannot be declared uh, attacks onto, so it's also protected. At zero attack, you can normal summon it. Don't worry, it's not going to be swung into. And the ways to get into this is going to be Piri Reese Map. You could search for it at the start of the main phase. You lose 4,000 life points, but it's worth it. And you could also one for one special summon it from the deck. Now, if you the common play with this deck is going to be, let's say you have a lifter and a way to get to your hydrant. You just have hydrant and lifter in your hand. You're going to normal summon your lifter, then search for the wave to support emergency that makes the deck top tier. But we do not have it. So you're going to make the much weaker play of searching for your field spell. The field spell allows an additional summon. Then you're going to additional summon the hydrant. Then the Hydrant's going to be searching for the Turbulence. The Turbulence requires you to have two Rescue Ace cards in the graveyard, which the Extinguish, Contain, Alert, and Rescue, they all count as Rescue Ace. They could be banished alongside the monsters to summon. So that's going to be the main combo, as with the Lifter and the Hydrant, you can make something like a Mascarina. You could, I, you could even make a Sprite Elf with the Mascarina plus another monster to make it so your Turbulence is untargetable from a card like in Permanence, which is the main way to stop it. And if your opponent survives the first wave of Turbulence setting up the Contain and Extinguish, you're going to have a round two with the Field Spell returning all of them that are either banished or in the graveyard back in the deck to draw one to then reset them back up with Turbulence as you overwhelm your opponent. A cool trick I like to show off that I was able to pull off within the gameplay is if you have a card like Impulse and your opponent activates a monster effect in the field, it's kind of like a hand trap. It could summon a Hydrant or a Turbulence from your deck, but if you want to draw into a hand trap, you could special summon the Fire Attacker in response to something like a Kashtira Fenrir or a Kashtira Unicorn activating the search because while this is on the field and they search for a card, you then get to draw two, discard one. Great way to draw into your maxi, draw into Nibiru, which may or may not be exactly what happened in my gameplay. Also, it's worth noting that Impulse does negate X Purely Nor. There's an X Purely Nor in the field. What this does is you choose the X Purely Nor. You're not affecting it. You're telling your opponent that they cannot activate that monster. So you're affecting the opponent, not the monster, and it's non-targeting. And if they chain the X Purely Nor to deal with this before you activate that effect, you're going to chain, jump off the field, and summon a Turbulence or a Hydrant. Hydrant can't be targeted by the X Purely Nor. So it at least forces your opponent to detach some materials. And that is the deck at the moment. Again, it is Rescue Cope. It's missing Wave 2 and Wave 3. But this was, I had fun with wave one. This was as much fun I could have with the deck. I did try it with Runic. I didn't enjoy that. So a more pure version with a ton of hand traps. Try it out yourself. Thank you very much. We are out.